The Event Horizon Telescope's resolution has been improved. Future black hole images will be sharper. Astronomers have managed to improve the level of detail of the Event Horizon Telescope and in test observations have achieved the highest resolution ever obtained from the ground, detecting light from the centers of distant galaxies at a frequency of about 345 GHz. The researchers claim that this will make future black hole images 50% sharper. The Event Horizon Telescope EHT, is a network of radio telescopes scattered around the world that operate at millimeter and sub-millimeter wavelengths. Together, they form a telescope the size of Earth. Using a technique called Very Long Baseline Interferometry VLBI, the data received by the independent radio telescopes are recorded together, making them easier to analyze later. The Event Horizon Telescope is an extremely sensitive instrument. The apparent size of a black hole in the sky is less than 100 millionths of a degree, which is about the size of a tennis ball on the moon as seen from Earth. But the EHT managed to do this and thanks to it and the scientists involved in the project, we could see a black hole for the first time. In 2019, astronomers presented an image of the supermassive black hole in the center of the M87 galaxy. Three years later, they showed the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk, located in the center of the Milky Way. The F project involves more than 200 scientists from all over the world. The images of the black holes from M87 and the Milky Way were taken at a lower frequency of 230 GHz. The new achievements will make future images of black holes not only clearer, but also provide multicolored views of the regions surrounding these massive objects. The frequency of 345 GHz corresponds to a wavelength of 0.87 mm 230 GHz corresponds to a wavelength of 1.3 mm. The results and findings of the work have been published in the Astronomical Journal. Although we can't see the black hole itself, the highly heated material orbiting it illuminates the region slightly revealing a distinctive signature in the images taken so far, a dark central region, the shadow, surrounded by a bright ring-like structure. With the EHT, we saw the first images of black holes by detecting radio waves at a frequency of 230 GHz, but the bright ring we saw, created by the bending of light in the black hole's gravity, was still blurry because we were at the absolute limits of image sharpness, said Alexander Raymond of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a CO author of the paper. At 345 GHz, our images will be sharper and more detailed, which in turn will likely reveal new properties, both those that were previously predicted and perhaps some that were not, he added. To obtain higher resolution images from the EHT, astronomers could increase the distance between the radio antennas or observe at a higher frequency. Because the EHT was already the size of our planet, increasing the resolution of ground-based observations required extending the frequency range. And that's exactly what the EHT scientists did. The prism splits light into a rainbow of colors because different wavelengths of light travel through it at different speeds. Gravity bends light in a similar way. Einstein predicted that the size of the rings seen by the EHT would be similar at both 230 GHz and 345 GHz, but that the hot gas swirling around the black holes would look different at the two frequencies. To understand why this is a breakthrough, consider the explosion of extra detail we get when we go from black and white to color. This new color vision allows us to separate the effects of gravity from the hot gas and magnetic fields that power black holes, 
said Shepard Chef Doleman, EHT Director. This is the first time VLBI has been successfully used at 345 GHz. The ability to observe the night sky with single telescopes at 345 GHz already existed, but using VLBI at that frequency has long been a challenge that has taken time and technological advances to overcome. Water vapor in the atmosphere absorbs waves at 345 GHz much more than at 230 GHz, weakening the signals from black holes at higher frequencies. The key was to increase the sensitivity of the EHT, which scientists did by increasing the throughput of the instruments and waiting for good weather at all locations. The best observing sites on Earth are at high altitudes, where atmospheric clarity and stability are optimal, but weather can be adverse, said Nimesh Patel, director of the Center for Astrophysics Harvard and Smithsonian. Now, with high throughput systems that process and capture wider bands of the radio spectrum, we are beginning to overcome fundamental sensitivity issues, such as weather. The time is right to move to 345 GHz, he added. The successful observations of the EHT at 345 GHz are a major milestone in science, said Lisa Culey, director of the Center for Astrophysics Harvard and Smithsonian. By pushing the boundaries of resolution, we are achieving the unprecedented clarity of black hole imaging that we promised at the outset and setting new, higher standards for ground-based astrophysics capabilities," she added. A next-generation EHT NGEHT, project is planned. Researchers plan to add new antennas to the EHT at optimized geographic locations and enhance existing stations by upgrading them all to operate at multiple frequencies from 100 GHz to 345 GHz at the same time.